This short video shows how to change the fuses of a Series D line isolation monitor. We're working on a bench here, but removing the limb from the panel is not necessary. Just be sure to follow all necessary safety practices in your work. For the work discussed here, the limb must be de-energized. After powering down, begin by removing the faceplate. It's held in place with four screws and requires a Torx T9 screwdriver bit. With the four screws removed, lift off and set aside the faceplate. The two limb fuses are in the lower left-hand corner. Replacement fuse details will be coming up shortly. Carefully remove the fuses. With a pair of needle nose pliers, they should pull right out. Although we don't show it here, check the fuses with an ohmmeter to verify that they're open and needing to be replaced. If the fuses are good and the limb appears to be unpowered, it may be that the limb is at end of life. However, with the fuses confirmed as open, you'll have to replace them. Using needle nose pliers, carefully insert the new fuses, making sure they're fully seated. Our published literature identifies the fuses as Wickman TR5T, 250 milliamp fuses. Long ago, these were available from us with a part number, but that is no longer the case. At the time this video was published, an internet search for the fuses was successful. Be sure to get the kind with short leads, as shown here not the variety with longer leads for soldering. Having completed the fuse changeout, secure the limb faceplate with the four cover screws and return the limb to service.